Welcome to NSSCO English Second Language Program 2. This program will focus on writing a well-structured argumentative essay. The objective of today's program is to write a well-structured argumentative essay. Enjoy the program. And I've got some great news. We got a reply from some of the businesses from which we request the sponsorships for our Miss Northern High School competition. Mr. Mool of Ideal Creations has offered us a $3,000 and a hamper each for our Miss Northern High and her princesses. That's wonderful, ma'am. That's not all. Mm -hmm. The owner of Corner Bookshop wants us to launch an essay competition because she wants more learners to get involved. She will give three cash prizes, a first, a second, and a third prize. That's interesting. I mean, that way we'll also be able to advertise the event. Now, what is this essay all about? She wants learners to argue whether or not beauty competitions are praise or humiliate women. Hmm, interesting. May I take part? Of course. It's open to everybody. I will put up a notice today, and I will also ask the teachers to inform the learners about the competition. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of time left before the big event, so all the essays must be in by Friday. I'm sure that won't get in the way of the people that would like to enter the competition. As far as I'm concerned, I'm definitely, definitely going to take part. Now, how many words should the essay be? Only 500 words, okay. and the first prize is $1,000, so it's definitely worth to take a chance. 1,000, I mean that's great. I'm definitely gonna start working on my budget. Now get back to class, Carl. Okay, man. You have to help me. I need to write an essay for an essay competition. I can win like a thousand Namibian dollars. Hello, Anne. Oh, hi. Sorry. Uh, I just got carried away when I'm just so excited about this competition. So what's the essay all about? Well, it's a long story. Um, I'm not going anyway. Well, okay. You know that I'm part of the Matric Fellow Organizing Committee, right? Okay, well, Miss Samarta helped me write a letter to some local businesses asking them for sponsorship so that they can help us with the Miss Northern High competition. Well, this morning she gave me the feedback and she told me that Mr. Muller from Ideal Creations agreed to sponsor us with some money as well as some hampers for the winners. And the owner of the Corner Bookshop agreed, uh, suggested that we have an essay competition and that she would give of which you'll give three cash prizes and the first one is a thousand a million dollars. Wow, that's nice. I know, I so like have to take part in this competition. You're gonna help me, right? Well, I suppose I can give you some ideas and guidelines, but the end product has to be yours. Right? Um, I don't want you to write it for me. I just want a few ideas and to get me started. All right, don't get upset. I'll help you. Okay, sure. What's the topic all about? Whether beauty pageants oppress or humiliate women. So it's an argumentative essay. Yeah. Okay, um, first of all, you have to decide whether you agree with the statement or not. Mm -hmm. It's always best to look at the issue from both sides. It shows that you have considered all the arguments before coming to a conclusion. Um, that will make your argument stronger. So I should list the positive and the negative aspects of beauty pageants and then decide whether I agree with the statement or not. Exactly. Um, your arguments must be logical and they must make sense. Um, it's best to plan your essay before you start writing. So I must make brief notes on what I would like to include in my introduction, body and conclusion. Yes, um, list down the ideas you wish to include under those headings. Mm -hmm. Make sure your heading is captivating. Mm -hmm. Introduce the topics in the introduction. You can start by describing mm -hmm. the beauty pageant in a positive way, for instance. Make your point of view clear in the opening paragraph already. By the way, do you agree with the statement or not? 
Well, not really. I think there's a lot of... I think I don't think there's anything wrong with having beauty competitions. I think there's a lot of advantages to it as well. Okay, then. Um, as I said, state your point of view. In the following paragraphs, you can write down the pros you can think of. After that, you can present the counter arguments. Um, lastly, in your conclusion, you should summarize your main arguments. Will you help me list some ideas? I suppose they can do no harm. Thanks, man. Uh, let me just let me just get this right. Okay. Um, I think let's start with a positive point. Well, um, beauty competitions no longer judge women on their appearances only, but also on their personality, intelligence, as well as social awareness. Also, beauty queens can be an important role model for other women as well. Plus, beauty queens of a country can play an important role in, in promoting her country. Yes, um, beauty competitions can also help promote recognition for different kinds of beauty and set, and set new standards of beauty. And what do you mean by that? Well, if a black woman wins, for instance, um, it challenges the Western standard of beauty and will also set a new standard and new role models. Oh, wow, I would have never thought of that. Um, yes, um, women can also learn how to dress appropriately for different occasions. Do you have any good ideas to include under the negative aspects of uh, beauty competitions? What do you think? Um, well, well, I was just thinking that beauty competitions might e reinforce the perception that women should be judged on their looks and that women's appearance is the most important basis for judging her value. Good. Um, it might also put pressure on other women to try and live up to certain standards of living certain standards of beauty and reinforce harmful standards of physical appearance. This might lead to eating disorders and women might feel inadequate if they're not slim enough. Well, I think that's enough for now. If I elaborate on each of these ideas, I think I'll have enough words. Um, now, do you have any advice for me? Well, there are some typical phrases and linking words that you can use when writing an argumentative essay. Like? Um, you can use to set your own view, you can say, for instance, I believe that, or I consider, mm -hmm. or I contend that. To show an additional point is about to come, you can write something like, um, secondly, and then in addition, or furthermore. Uh, what about when presenting a contrasting point of view? That would be something like, on the other hand, however, yet. And, in, and to introduce your conclusion, you can say in conclusion or finally before stating your main argument. Well, thank you. Let me just get started. I'd really like to win the thousand dollars. Girl, good luck. And even and remember, even if you don't win, the experience of taking part is already valuable. Mm, yeah, I know. That's really what is important. Here. That's right. Um now get something to eat. Um before we start planning on your essay. Working on an empty stomach is never a good idea. Mm. The food is in the oven. True. Thanks. Um, I feel hungry all of a sudden. Plan your essay carefully before starting to write. Your essay must consist of an introduction, body and conclusion. Divide your essay into useful paragraphs using linking words. Look at an issue from both sides, but clearly state your point of view. Your arguments must be logical and well-sequenced. Pay attention to language usage. Always reread your essay in order to correct obvious mistakes. This concludes our second and last program of NSSCO English Second Language. I hope you have learned something new from it. Thank you for watching and good luck with your studies.